when the waves start to get rough, the last thing you want to do is to be confined in a little boat. In the Atlantic Ocean, storms frequently cause the sinking of small ships. In the open ocean, wave heights typically range from a few feet to around 30 feet. However, under extreme weather conditions, waves can reach exceptional heights. In order to cross the Atlantic Ocean, it is essential to have a boat that is optimal for ocean crossing in terms of size. It is roughly 3,000 nautical miles from the United States to Europe and it takes at least 10 to 20 days to cross the Atlantic Ocean and it could take longer if you choose to sail across the ocean rather than use a motor. So the question arises how large of a boat is required to cross the Atlantic Ocean and what is the smallest boat that ever crossed the Atlantic? The waves start getting dangerous when the wave height reaches 30% of length of the boat. The wave also has to be a breaking wave. Unless the wave is breaking, the boat should ride up and over the wave regardless of the wave height. The boat also has to be broadside or oblique to the wave. The more a boat moves from being perpendicular to a wave, the greater the chance of a knockdown. Yes, a boat can be pitch poled, but the size of the wave needed to do this greatly exceeds the size of a smaller wave needed to knock down a boat when broadsided to a wave. It is generally accepted that if you want to cross the Atlantic Ocean, you will need a boat at least 30 feet long, regardless of whether you plan to sail or motor. For both protection and convenience, the ideal length of a boat is 40 feet. If the boat is any smaller than 30 feet, there is a significant possibility of sinking during a storm. 90% of the boats crossing the ocean are bigger than 36 feet, with most of them measuring around 44 feet. When motoring across the Atlantic, it is necessary to allocate a sizable portion of the total storage space for fuel storage. This indicates that a larger motor boat will be required than a sailboat to complete the same journey. In 1902, the first motorboat crossed the Atlantic Ocean and spent 37 days to travel from New York to England. The boat was 37 feet long and was loaded to the gills with 700 gallons of kerosene to fuel the motor. However, there are numerous examples of extremely small boats crossing the Atlantic Ocean. At a length of just 5 feet and 4 inches, the smallest sailboat named Father's Day crossed the Atlantic Ocean in 1993 after spending 105 days in the ocean. Although it is feasible to sail across the Atlantic Ocean in a much smaller vessel, but it is extremely dangerous. If the ship is smaller than 30 feet, then even the smaller breaking waves can be more than 30% of the ship's length and can knock down the ship. While we are talking about smaller vulnerable ships, the big ships in the oceans are also not completely safe. Severe weather has sunk more than 200 super tankers and container ships exceeding 200 meters in length during the last two decades. Rogue waves are believed to be the major cause in many such cases. When swells traveling across the ocean pass through one another, then the occasional constructive interference will produce waves that are exceptionally large even when all of the surrounding waves are of normal height. These random large waves are called rogue waves. It is not uncommon for rogue waves to reach heights of 50 feet or more. That's all for this video. Like and subscribe to the channel and see you in the next one.